Shalom. I give all the glory and praises to you. How about Shem? I was shot by Shem Kakulaj. The one who stood as a part of the most on top of the street of the city and started to develop it. That's part of the folk in the third. The title of this video is going to be um, We Have the Word of Eternal Life. Okay. Um, the spirit was on me. Okay. You know, because when we, you know, Oh, this is the truth, right? Many jades, you know, they're looking for answers, so to speak, okay? They're looking for the truth, okay? That's why they're going to these different other religions like Islam, okay? Islam, you know. Or, pra or practicing with the familiar spirits of being a witch or a warlock. Okay. Because they're looking for answers like these, you know, for example, going to like, you know, many of our JG, like, you know, call on the answers to this, you know, to which is sad to see, to see about how we should, you know, be. Contacting the dead, or you know, just practicing, you know, doing things, you know, because it's how it's how spiritual. Um, it's a how spiritual um thing, you know. But you know, the positive, the positive Gabar, he always uses the phrase, this, this thing of thing of our right, and. Basically, he mean he basically when you know what he means is that you know the Lord Yahvashan Shah, you know, ultimately, you know when Yahweh Shah down on cross, right? You know he left his Holy Spirit, he left his Word, you know. He left you know the Holy Spirit. You know we were entrusted with this Word, okay. You know, we were like a we were entrusted. We, we we were given this word, right? You know, we were able to receive this word, understand this word. You know, by the Holy Spirit through Yahweh Shasha. Okay. So this in this thing of our right, this ministry, this, you know. We have the we have the words of eternal life that can save, you know, the souls, okay, of many, all right? But right now only a few gonna get saved, which will represent the lead in the in the one third, okay. So I'm gonna read here, um John ten and one, the parable of the good shepherd, and this is Yahweh Shah speaking. Very, very I say unto you. He that entered not by the door into the sheepfold. Who's the door? Yahweh Shah's the door. Okay. Into the sheepfold, but climbeth up some other way. The same as a thief and a robber. Right? And many of our people, you know, two thirds of Jake, they try to climb in some other way. Either, you know, again, practicing with their own firm spirits, you know, or trying to pollute the doctrine in some way, you know, or whatever it might be, okay, Islam, you know, selling out, okay, to Esau, whoever, you know, sell out to Satan, our people are trying to climb in some other way, but they're like a thief and a robber, okay, because if you're not coming through that correct, you're not coming through that you know, if you're not going through Yahweh Shah, okay, this is why many other, this is why many brothers and elders use that you have to be sent by Yahweh Shah, Shah, okay? If you're not sent by Yahweh Shah, Shah and you trying to climb into this ministry, come into this ministry, you know, going through another, you know, coming from the, 
coming from the rooftop or trying to go get in through the through the sides of the doors, right? You know, you are like a thief and a robber. Meaning what? You gonna get destroyed? Okay, you gonna get some some. You gonna get. You know, if you are a thief and a robber, if a thief came to your house, you know, and they, whether the thief, you know, went, you know, what, you know, they gonna, you know, they gonna get, you know, they gonna get, they gonna get put down basically, you know. And this is what two thirds. This is what this is what many of these false Israelites, false pro prophets are like. They have this doctrine, okay? They're like a thief, okay? You know. But he that entered in by the door, and the shepherd is the shepherd of the sheep. Okay, you know we're like, we're 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 the shepherd of the sheep. Okay, you know we have to, you know, because we have the you know being a shepherd meaning what you are the keepers of the sheep. Okay, we are sheep ourselves. Okay, you know, but those that teach us word. Okay, those that are actually teachers okay they are shepherds okay they have to watch other sheep they have to make sure they aren't teaching out leading the sheep astray okay and this is what a bread deposit bar me and these things are right being a trusted resort making sure that we are teaching the right things right double checking you know being a having having a church of burial spare on us okay make sure that we're not we don't have any leaven in our doctrine okay you know, again, you have to be, you have to be sent by Yahweh on side. You have to enter into that. You have to enter in by the door. Okay, you have to be called. You know, you can't go to no cemetery school. You know, because this is what many, you know, Christian sees about that how. You know, you you you, should, you have to become a fool before you can uh, you, before you can gain knowledge, before Yahweh can even deal with you. You have to you have to be you have to show you have to. Humility is required, okay. And I put out lesson about that. Humility is required in order for you like Yahweh Shashak to deal with you. Meaning what you have to be, you have to be willing to become a fool, okay, to order to order to even receive this word, okay. You think you can't go to. No cemetery school. You can't go to one of the East Hall's colleges and study his and try to become a pastor, okay, a so called pastor, right? You know, and think, you know, that Lord's really gonna, is Lord is going is dealing with you. Think you're going to get saved, okay? Because they, you know, East Hall, he teaches what? Jesus Christ. He pushes Jesus Christ, you know, the Lord, that's, first of all, that's not Lord's name. And second of all, you know, that the the whole image, the whole image, is not even. That's not how Yahweh Shah even looks like. You know, he is. He's a so-called dark brown-skinned man. Okay, with the afro. To him the porter openeth, and the sheep heareth his voice, and he calleth his own sheep by name, and leadeth them out. Okay. All right, because the sheep, you know, that shepherd, that shepherd is like into Yahweh Shah, okay. And the Ushman, and it, this is spiritual too, because when Yahweh Shah came on the scene, he started choosing his disciples, right? You know, and he started calling, he started calling his disciples by name, you know, and his disciples start to follow him, okay? So that's, that's spiritual, okay? You know, and this ultimately, Yahweh Shah is the one that is, you know, because this ultimately, this, you know, this, you know, we need to, Ultimately, we are, we we always say this: we are just we are we are we are um, 
just a vessel being used, okay? Yahweh Shah is the one who do who doing the choosing, right? His sheep, his elect, which represent his sheep, Yahweh Shah, he gonna call them into this ministry. He gonna call them to receive his word, okay? You know, he gonna tap on the individual spirit, right? To receive his word and to understand his word, okay? And guess what? They're going to come into this ministry, okay? They're going to receive this word. They're going to receive his name, okay? They're going to follow They're going to follow the shepherd that the Lord set up, okay? The scripture says how, how, how I have given you pastors according to my heart, okay? Who shall feed you with knowledge and truth. In Jeremiah, he goes into that. So, who are those pastors according to the, to the, um, to, according to the um, lower heart, okay, those that are teaching his word, those that have been entrusted with his word, and that receive his name, and that teaching his word with hundred with truth and sincerity and hundred percent, okay, with no leaven, okay, all pure, no no raw and uncut, okay, not dumbed down, right, not 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 no raw and uncut truth. You know, that was shot when he was on the scene. He was raw and uncut, right? He was austere. The Lord was austere, right? Yeah, he was austere. And that started with your apostles of the great millstone, okay? And, and you know, their apostles, right? Tricking on down, right? To the brothers in the ministry that that's teaching that, you know, that. You know, they have been set up, they have been, they are pastors according to the heart, lower heart, right? You know, you have these wicked pastors that have been set up, okay? Right? But guess what? You know, they're not teaching, they they, they teaching, they teaching some truth, right? But now they're teaching them all the truth, right? And they got leaven, you know? But guess what? They're just being used, they're being used, Okay? Because, well, again, we're all servants. We're all vessels, right? We're just being, we're being used, okay, to wake with the elect. That's all, right? Cause the elect going to, the elect going to bench the elect. Lord, he going to leave the elect, okay, on his time. The elect, all the elect is going to be sealed, okay? You know? So we're not looking for the whole nation to get saved, right? We're not, we're not going to spend every every member who watches I, every per, 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 everybody who watches IUIC, you know, it's going to get saved. No. We ain't, we're not expecting every, everyone who watches GMS, you know, that they're going to get saved. No. The Lord only dealing with a few, okay? A few elect, a few, you know, one-third, right? Out of, you know, billions, trillions of Israelites, the Lord only dealing with a few, okay? They're like you were dealing with eight people during the day of Noah. He says, and when he putteth forth his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. Okay. All right. You know. And a stranger will they not follow, but will flee from him. For they know not the voice of strangers, right? You know, and these strangers are liking unto these other doctrines, okay? You know, this word, the Bible, is the word of the Lord, Yahweh Shasha. You know, not the, not Tamu, okay? You know, there's only one book, okay, that fully, you know, there's only one book that 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 was that the that is you know have the word of the Lord that that is you know prophecies right that that has been spoken by that that has been prophecies that's the only one book that you know you can we can really go to you know and when apply these word this word to this to our daily life okay. No, 
for example, do do turn twenty eight. Okay, what's he say about the curses? So those curses, you know, apply to the to the twelve tribes. Okay, to these, you know, so called Negro Hispanic, you know, Native American, etc. Today, okay, you know. Right, so the Lord, you know, the, if you're truly, if you're truly called, and you're truly the elect, okay, you know, you're not gonna go to these other doctrines. You're not gonna be so caught up in these other doctrines, okay, these other camps, okay, that that's going off, okay. You gonna you gonna be so focused on that on that on the sh on that on the Lord Yahweh Bashan Shah, okay, you know. You're not gonna wanna go to any other doctrine, okay. You know, you won't, you won't care about, you know, you don't have a second thought for Islam. You know, trying to, you know, convert to Islam or trying to, you know, do all these other things, okay? So I'm get here and join again. Okay, John 16. This is John 6, 6, 6, um, self Henry's Peter's confession of faith. From that time, many of the disciples went back and walked, walked not no more with them. Then said, Yahweh shot unto the twelve, will ye also go away? Then Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. Right. You know, just like I mentioned, you know, you know, the only way we can really get out of this, you know, the only way we can you know, the brothers always say this, you know, the only way we can really, you know, stop, so to speak, you know, stop following the Lord is if the Lord, you know, take the spirit away from us. Is the Lord, you know, if we the Lord, he you know the Lord, we're just calling, we're not chosen, okay? You know, Cause this is what brother, I'll say this. This is uh, this is you know we are we this is 
you know, when, once you come into this truth, you know, once you receive this word, right, you know, there's no turning back, so to speak, right? You know, you are in this till you die, okay? Till you go to the Lord, call you back to the spiritual realm, okay? I mean, what? Because when the Lord do that, and you're still, if you die, you know, say, if you go back to the spirit world while you're still in this truth, right? And for the, and you, you know, you haven't done, you know, you haven't, you repented, you know, you walk into, you walk with the Lord, you walk in for the Lord to, to, to the best of your ability, okay? You walk in the ways to the Lord to the best ability, and you go back to the Lord, you know, He ends up calling back to the spiritual realm, right? Just know that that means that your race, you know, your race goes in or your right race, and guess what? You're going to receive a reward, okay? You know? It's good to see some of the how the dead in the, in the Yabashan Shah she arrived first, right? There's many brothers and sisters who you know, probably died, okay, in this world, okay? You know, but guess what? They're gonna be. They're gonna see a reward. Okay. You know. But yeah, you know, of that's in the truth now, of that, of that's living now, right? You know, we're not, we're not, we're not, we're not putting the, we're not, you no, know, Lord will, we're not gonna put the plow down. We're not gonna, you know, stop following the Lord because of our little afflictions, right? You know, or just because you know, just whatever, right? Or just because we want to chase. The riches of this world, right? You know, or or just because we get cut, or just because we get rebuked, you know, we're not gonna do that, right? We're gonna continue to follow the Lord, Yahweh Shasha, Lord will again to the end, right? Because the Lord, because Thou has the words of eternal life, because we know that these are the words eternal life. This is what's gonna save us. This is what's gonna, you know, get us to the kingdom of heaven, right? You know, not Esau, not his, no, not his Michaelia. Right, you know. You know, about the about how Ezra, you know, they search it, um, they seek it for, you know, they seek it, what was my name? This is Roman Lab Five Reads. Um ooh. And this is how we know that the book of um, Romans was written to the Israelite, not to the Edomites, right? Because in Romans 11, one is, it seems like how, you know, the subject of the Israelite not a cast away, but when we read Romans 11, one of the reasons I say then, has the most I cast away his people, the most I forbid, for I'm also in the Israelite of the Seah Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. Okay, so Paul, he was an Israelite, okay? You know, in that book, he rich, was written, these, these epistles were written to the Israelite foreigners, okay? You know, into those among the circumcision and the circumcision. Okay. This is Romans 11, 4 reads, but what says, and Paul, he was a, ultimately, he was a, um, he was called to be an Israelite. He was called to be a pastor. He was called to be a, I forget how you, um, how the scripture coined it, but it's a, how, ultimately, how Paul was, he was basically called by the Lord to be a pastor or a sheep, you know. A shepherd unto the unto the Israelite foreigners, okay, to those that was scattered abroad, okay, to those of the uncircumcision, okay. Romans eleven four it reads. I'm gonna start here and go and read out. But what said the what said the answer to Moses to him? I will reserve to myself 
seven thousand men who had not bowed the image to who had not bowed the knee to the image of all. Even so, then at the pres at this present time, also there is a remnant according to the election of grace, because the um, remnant we use there are remnants uh, of a small number. A remnant, a small number of what? A small number of a nation. Okay, so you see that how Ezra is like the uh, sand of the sea, right? That cannot be measured or number, right? So out of that, out, out of that, out of Ezra, out of Yashara is a small remnant, it's a small, you know, it's small, it's a small people, okay? It's a, it's a, it's a small number of people, okay? You know, which represents 144K, that's gonna be delivered, okay? That's where you know that's that's this one third, right? Which is according to the lesson of grace, right? Because what we are saved by grace and not of our own selves, not of our own works. Okay. The grace of the Lord, yeah, by trying to shout ultimately, you know, by us repenting, okay, by us trying to walk out to, out to the ways of the Lord is what gonna get us delivered, okay? To the best of our ability, right? Us showing our faith, okay. You know, by 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 this is a show of faith. What I'm doing right now is a show of faith. Okay. This is this is about the, how faith without works is dead, right? You know. There's a remnant according to the ledge of grace. Right? That is that's basically that's if that's currently, you know, in the in the Paul time too, and in this present time, right? You know, the election is still here. The election is here. The election is being sealed, right? You know, you have some of the left that's living. You have some of the left that's, you know, in the spiritual realm, right? You know, so I'll be mindful of that too. You know, and if we if it be by grace, then it's no more of works. Otherwise, grace is no more grace. But if it be of works, then it's no more grace. Otherwise, work is no more work, okay? All right, because it's specific, it's about how righteousness is at 50 rack, okay? You know, we can't do, the things that we're doing right now cannot talk or cannot, you know, it cannot, it cannot, we can't, we have, we, we're not doing enough, okay? You know, we're just not doing enough, right? You know, it's not, we, this is not what, what we don't, we're in this filthy bodies, bodies, right? You know, we're just in the filthy, filthy body, right? We've been called, okay? You know, and we're, you know, this is, you know, this is why you have to truly become humble. You can't let this, what you're doing, thank you, that thank you, doing something for the Lord, right? You know, we're not doing anything for the Lord, okay? You know, I always say this, like, the Lord, he, you know, we're not doing anything for the Lord, right? We're just, we're just mortal humans. We're just, you know, we're just like dung to the Lord. The Lord says that how our, our, our works is like dung. You know, what I, what I mean by dung, like, you know, it's so just about how, you know, how righteous like fits the right. You know, it's just like, you know, you know, we're just, you know, it's just, you know, you know, you know, it's just about how, you know, because our sacrifices are like sweet savor to the Lord, right? Because this is a sacrifice. It's like a daily sacrifice to the Lord. So it's like a sweet savor, right? But really, you know, you know, we're not, you know, the Lord said he can, he can lift up rocks to teach his word, right? He can put spirits on rocks, okay, to teach his word, right? You know, he don't need us, okay? That's how you got to look at it, right? As it was the Lord, he don't need you, right? You know? This is our reasonable service, okay? You know, of, of what the Lord did for us, okay? You know, we're we just we are we're the Lord creation, right? You know, we are the creations, okay? We didn't create anything. We didn't, or if we were the let, okay? If we were the let, right? That those first spirits, right? We did create, okay? We did create this earth. We did create. You know the things that we you see, okay? If we if we are the if, if we are the less, okay. You know, but again, you know, we're not, you know. We just we just we are we are you know we are. You know, the Lord, 
You know, he can he don't need us. Okay, this is what the Lord if he wanted to, he can let he can wake up any he can wake up all the Israelites. Right? If the Lord wanted to, he can wake up he can wake up every Israelite to his word. You know, he can wake up he can the elect can be filled today. Prophecy can come to pass tomorrow and we are out, okay? If the Lord wanted to do that. All right. You know. But again, the Lord he's bound by his word. Okay, so he sees that how the Lord he's a man that he should not lie. Right, he's bound by his word, okay. You know, his prophecies, all right. You know, you know, he, you know, he, he, you know he, he, he's not gonna, you know, have revelation be written, okay. You know, and then, you know, in revelation, they'll come to pass, you know, and then, you know. You know, he's just, not, he's just he's not gonna do that, right? He's not gonna go outside his word, okay? But what then? Ezra has not attained that which he seeketh for, but the election has attained it, and the rest were blinded, okay? Meaning what the rest the rest which referring to the two thirds of the nation of Ezra, the one that's not in this truth, the one that can See, the one that can see, the one that can hear, the word that's coming to our, out of our mouth, right? You know, they can see, they can hear it, but the Lord said that how he had bonded them lest they should come in and repent, right? So the Lord, he's not he's not wanting the whole nation of Israel to come in, right? He's not wanting, and this is why we tell these wacky tiny Christians that the Lord, he's not, you know, the Lord, he's, he, no, he's the Lord, you know, he's not all love, right? He don't love every Israelite. What I mean by he don't love every Israelite, I mean he's not willing to. He's not. He's not going to. He's not going to save every Israelite. He's not going to be. He, look what Jake doing. Okay, look what two thirds of people doing. They eat them bone the food. They're completely cussing out. They cussing out the Lord, right? You know, drawing up middle fingers uh, uh, to the Lord. Okay, to his servants. You know. Okay, mocking his servants, scoffing at his servants, and you think the Lord just gonna. You know, sit back and just you know, okay, you know, and not, what will you do in that situation? Okay, you know, if someone, if you, you know, if someone was mocking at your service, someone was scoffing at your service, someone was throwing up um, birds at you, okay, you know, and cursing you out, okay, and disrespecting you, okay, will you, will you still love that person? Uh, and will you still, will you want that person to get saved? Okay, will you want that person to? We want to deliver that person, okay? We want that person to be delivered from the fire, okay? That's about to come upon this earth. No, right? You know, you want that person. You want that person to suffer, right? And this is what the Lord is going to do to two thirds of our, two thirds of the people of His creation, because the Lord can do that. He craves two thirds. He craves them to do exactly what they're doing, right? And who you, who you, who, and you going to, what are you going to tell the Lord, right? The one that created you, you know, you're going to tell, you're going to, you're going to. You gonna look up and tell the Lord, you know, don't do what He gonna do. No, you can't do that. Cause the Lord he can get he can distort, he can he can he can he can drop you dead right there, right? But switch this about the Lord's long suffering, right? You know, so the Lord he got and he and he and you know his judgment, you know, his his judgment happened like that. Okay, his judgment, his judgment are quick and fast, right? And all would happen on his time. Okay, but that's you know, you no. Know, but you know, but again, you know, the legend have attained it, right? The legend have heard the voice, okay, of the Lord, okay. This word, right, that of eternal life, and they they have attained this word, right? And the rest were blinded. I mean, what they they, they they have attained the names of the Lord, okay, the true names, okay, who they are as a people, okay. You know. As, again, you know, as I was going on, right? Romans 11, 8. It's according as it is written, the Most High has given them the spirit of slumber, eyes that they should not see, and ears that they should not hear unto this day. Okay? Unto this very day. Okay? Our people in a slumber mindset is spiritual. Okay? You know? They're in a, they're in a spiritual slumber. Okay? You know? And the Lord got them like that. Okay. You know, they're in a deep sleep. Okay, thinking that they're that what they're doing 
is good. Okay, thinking what they doing. Okay, the Lord lights. Thinking going to church, calling on the name of Jesus and doing these other, you know, going to delve into these other philosophies. Okay, and going down to the unto um. You know, and you know, practicing left hand witchcraft and other things. Right, you know, they think the Lord's dealing with that. Okay. But what they don't know, they are in a slumber, okay? You know, they think they got, you know, they, Lord got them all typing it. They got, Lord got them all in a trip bag, right? And, it's, and when you look at it, you know, you can see why, all right? You know, because the Lord, he's not wanting, he's not wanting, he, he's not, the Lord, he had, he's had divorce, you know, you know, the Lord, he's, he's, he, he, he's not, Wanting every Israelite, you know, to be delivered, okay? You know, in the kingdom of heaven, the, the, the whole nation of Israel is going to be brought back, you know, through the loins of the led man, okay? And they're going to be righteous in the kingdom of heaven, right? But the Lord, he's only going to, you know, you know, he's only going to um, deliver a... You know, this is what we're, you know, this is what we're, 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 you know, we're called, this is how we're, how we're called, okay? We're a call into this word, okay? You know, this is how you, you had to really understand this, and this is why you had to really understand this word, right? We're a call unto, we're a call, okay? You know, many of these Christians, they're going around, the, many of these Israelites, you know, Jay, they say that they save, right? Since they have, they've been baptized and now they save, right? You know, save from what? Okay, we're not saved, right? We're still in this hellhole. Okay, we're still, you know, being afflicted. We're still being ruled over. Okay, we're still being oppressed. Okay, so we're that's, that's why you have to use wisdom. We're not, you know, we're not, you know, we're not saved at all. Okay, we're not saved at all. Right, we're gonna be saved when the Lord, when the Yahweh, the Heavenly Father, sent His Son Yahweh Shah to make His second coming unto this world. Right, you know, and we get delivered, and where our body get changed, then that's when we're saved, right? You know, then that's when you know that new heaven, that new earth coming in, right? And that's why again, many Israelites are in a state of slumber. Okay, they're asleep, right? You know, they're they're not knowing, they're not knowing what's going on spiritually. Okay, you know that they, they don't know what's going on. Okay. You know, and physically too, they're not they're not knowing what's going on. They're not, they're not knowing why they're why they're um, in the conditions that they're in. Why you know they are you know in a constant state of being oppressed, and afflicted. They don't know why they that why because this is how they, how you should know the truth and the truth should set you free, right? You know, by us being called into this word, by us being called by the Lord, Yahweh by Shah, by us going through that gate, okay, and not no other way, right? We know why we're in these situations we're in. This is why when it's like when this is why when we when we are out there proclaiming the word of the Lord, this is why we get look at kind of weird, right? This is why we get look at look at and mock at and scoff at because, you know, many Israelites, you know, they don't they can't they can't fathom in their head, you know, what's going on, right? You know, because they don't have the Lord he, he's not they don't have, they're not they're not involved in what we're involved in. They're not they haven't been given that spiritual outside by the Lord to reveal that information unto them. Okay? That information has not been revealed unto them. You know, the only way the Lord will reveal that unto them is if he personally put his spirit on them. Okay. It's just like, you know, you just like you have to have a you just like you have to have to have a, you know, like a pass, you know, like a pass, right? Like a secret like a secret pass that you can, that you, you know, like a passcode, you know, you know, you know, it's like a secret passcode you have to enter, like, in, like you have to tap into like the spirits, right? In order for you to tap into spirit, you know, you have to have that passcode for the Lord's spirit, okay? To see what's, what's going on, to see, you know, you know, the Lord, you know, working with that person, okay? Working with that man, all right? You know, it's hard. It's not. It's not hard. 
you know, it's really easy, right? But guess what? The Spirit of the Lord has to be dealing with you, okay? You know, I mean, you have to, again, you have to become humble. You have to show him energy. You have to really want to see the Lord, right? The Lord, he's not looking for no, you know, um, he's not looking for no one day is like, okay? What I mean by that is a, it's like just did that only want to get with, get with the Lord, right? You know, and then, you know, they would, they want to want only want to see the Lord, okay? You know, and kind of want to, you know, they want to seek the Lord, right? But they're not true. To, they're not true to about this. Not, they're not true about seeking, but they're not true about you know, turning from their ways, turning from their wickedness. Okay, you know, they just want to be in this thing for one day. Okay, they want to. They want to get a like, non fail from it, right? You know, uh, 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 um, what do you call it? Um, uh, dopamine, right? Fail from it, right? You know, because this is how you know that this word like honey. But when it, but when you, when you, when you di digest it, you know it's like it's bitter, okay? You know, because it, when you come into the word, you're gonna, you know, you're gonna feel like honey, right? But when you start to digest this word and you start to actually, you know, take into this word, you know, take into the spirit and the spirit of the word, kind of keep keep dealing with it and revealing things unto you, you know, you're not gonna, you know, you're gonna go, you're gonna get, you know, you're gonna feel. You know, they're gonna, they're gonna get to you, but they're gonna, they're gonna be better, okay? You know, the things we have to endure, right? You know, being a followers of Yahweh Shalasa, you know, proclaiming His word, right? It's not easy, okay? It's not, it's not hard, and was, it was never meant to be easy. It was never. This is all we had to have the Spirit of the Lord dealing with us, right? Because if you need more to Jake, you know, if we're just out there, okay, just doing things, our own things, right? You know. Yeah, okay, you know, it's gonna be like, you know, it, but we have to have, we have this, all we have to continue, this is all the things we do is all according to the spirit, right? It's not of our own might, it's not of our own self, it's not of, of our own will, you know, the things we do, okay, the, the, how we move, it's all according to the spirit of the Lord, okay? You know, this is a 24 7, seven days a week, you know, no off time, okay? So I'm going to close it here by giving all on the glory praises to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shabbat, Hashem, Kakadash, and next time, say Shalom.